The wealth they acquired is gone. Every head is shaved and every beard cut off. Every hand is slashed and every waist is covered with sackcloth. On all the roofs in Moab and in the public squares, there is nothing but mourning. For I have broken Moab like a jar that no one wants, declares the Lord. How shattered she is. How they wail. How Moab turns her back in shame. Moab has become an object of ridicule, an object of horror to all those around her. This is what the Lord says. Look, an eagle is swooping down, spreading its wings over Moab. Kirioth will be captured and the strongholds taken. In that day, the hearts of Moab's warriors will be like the heart of a woman in labor. Moab will be destroyed as a nation because she defied the Lord. Terror and pit and snare await you, O people of Moab, declares the Lord. Whoever flees from the terror will fall into a pit. Whoever climbs out of the pit will be caught in a snare. For I will bring upon Moab the year of her punishment, declares the Lord. In the shadow of Heshbon, the fugitives stand helpless. For a fire has gone out from Heshbon, a blaze from the midst of Sion. It burns the foreheads of Moab, the skulls of the noisy boasters. Woe to you, O Moab! The people of Chemosh are destroyed. Your sons are taken into exile daughters into captivity. Yet I will restore the fortunes of Moab in days to come, declares the Lord. Here ends the judgment on Moab. Chapter 48. Concerning Moab. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Woe to Nebo, for it will be ruined. Curiathaim will be disgraced and captured. The stronghold will be disgraced and shattered. Moab will be praised no more. In Heshbon, Men will plot her downfall. Come, let us put an end to that nation. You too, O madman, will be silenced. The sword will pursue you. Listen to the cries from Horonaim, cries of great havoc and destruction. Moab will be broken. The little ones will cry out. They go up the way to Lueth, weeping bitterly as they go. On the road down to Horonaim, anguished cries over the destruction are heard. Flee! Run for your lives. Become like a bush in the desert. Since you trust in your deeds and riches, you too will be taken captive. And Chemish will go into exile, together with his priests and officials. The destroyer will come against every town, and not a town will escape. The valley will be ruined, and the plateau destroyed, because the Lord has spoken. Put salt on Moab, for she will be laid waste. Her towns will become desolate, with no one to live in them. A curse on him who is lax in doing the Lord's work. A curse on him who keeps his sword from bloodshed. Moab has been at rest from youth like wine left on its dregs, not poured from one jar to another. She has not gone into exile. So she tastes as she did, and her aroma is unchanged. But days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will send men who pour from jars and they will pour her out. They will empty her jars and smash her jugs. Then Moab will be ashamed of Chemosh, as the house of Israel was ashamed when they trusted in Bethel. How can you say we are warriors, men valiant in battle? Moab will be destroyed and her towns invaded. Her finest young men will go down in the slaughter, declares the king, whose name is the Lord Almighty. The fall of Moab is at hand. Her calamity will come quickly. Mourn for her, all who live around her, all who know her fame. Say, how broken is the mighty scepter, how broken the glorious staff. Come down from your glory, and sit on the parched ground, O inhabitants of the daughter of Dibon. For he who destroys Moab will come up against you, and ruin your fortified cities. Stand by the road and watch, you who live in a roar. Ask the man fleeing, and the woman escaping. Ask them, what has happened? Moab is disgraced, for she is shattered. Wail and cry out. Announced by the Arnon that Moab is destroyed. Judgment has come to the plateau. To Holon, Jaza, and Mephaim. To Deban, Nebo, and beth Diblathaim, To Curiathaim, beth and beth To Curioth and Basra. To all the towns of Moab, far and near. Moab's horn is cut off, her arm is broken, declares the Lord. Make her drunk, for she has defied the Lord. 
Let Moab wallow in her vomit. Let her be an object of ridicule. Was not Israel the object of your ridicule? Was she caught among thieves that you shake your head in scorn whenever you speak of her? Abandon your towns and dwell among the rocks, you who live in Moab. Be like a dove that makes its nest at the mouth of a cave. We have heard of Moab's pride, her overweening 